Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercress, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play. This time around, it is Coffee Adventure for the BBC Micro. Now you're probably wondering what a BBC Micro is if you live anywhere outside of the UK. Basically, the BBC Micro, also known fully as the British Broadcasting Corporation Microcomputer System, which I'll just call the BBC Micro from now on, is a series of microcomputers and associated peripherals designed and built by the Acorn Co Computer Company for the BBC Computer Literacy Project, operated by the British Broadcasting Corporation, which took place in the early 1980s. It was designed with an emphasis on education, and it was notable for its ruggedness, expandability, and the quality of its operating system. An accompanying 1982 television series, The Computer Program, featuring Chris Searle learning to use a machine, was also broadcast on BBC Two. Shameless plug, Kurisu Yamato from Zadara is doing a little project called An American Look at the BBC Computer Literacy Project. You can check that out on Zadara.com. It is slowly getting started, but as time passes, it will get bigger and bigger, so check it out if you can. Let's see here, what else is there? After a call for bids for a computer to accompany the TV programs and literature, Acorn won the contract with the Proton, a successor of its Atom computer prototyped at short notice. Renamed the BBC Micro, the system was adopted by most schools in the UK, changing Acorn's fortunes and making it a very successful business. It was also successful as a home computer in the UK despite its high cost. Apparently it was still affordable to get either a Commodore 64 or a ZX Spectrum. Acorn also employed a machine to stimulate, or stimulate, simulate and develop the ARM, Advanced Risk Machine, originally Acorn Risk Machine architecture, which many years later has become hugely successful for embedded systems, including tablets and cell phones, and of course, the Nintendo DS family of handhelds. In 2013, ARM was the most widely used 32-bit instruction set architecture. There were nine models with the BBC brand. The micro is, is used to refer to the first six, A, B, B plus 64, B plus 128, Master 28, and Master Compact. There is a, a, uh, a less powerful version called the Acorn Electron, and that's basically considered its own thing. And the BBC micro would be the predecessor to the Acorn Archimedes PCs, or microcomputers. I don't know why I'm calling them PCs. So the BBC Micro was around between 1981 to 1994, so it lasted well into the 90s, and over 1.5 million were sold. Not a lot of kilobytes to the memory, not a lot of kilobytes to the storage. There is a 20 megabyte hard disk, but good luck with that, with finding that, because it's, I've heard it's hard to find. And what else is there to mention during this, uh... Oh, yeah. The BBC Micro was not only the one that got picked, but during the call for bids for a computer for this thing, well, it was the only computer that not only met BBC specifications, but nearly exceeded them on just about every level. Which is probably why Sinclair's... PC got pa PC. Sinclair's attempt at a microcomputer for this got passed up. I guess. But anyway, even though it wasn't as successful as the Commodore 64 or the ZX Spectrum, it was still very successful nonetheless. And while it was used for education and, of course, doing homework, it can also be used for making games such as Coffee Adventure, which we're going to take a look at now. This game was published on Disk 51 of the Electron User Group's archive, and I'll post a descript link to that, as well as Kurisu Yamato's project. I should have mentioned that, too. And this is a very, very simple text adventure. There are more difficult ones on the BBC Micro, but this one is very simple, and it wouldn't surprise me if this was somebody's attempt at making their very first text adventure because this is obviously obviously a short one so let's go ahead and play this you can just type in some verbs and nouns and you can get stuff done it's 
pretty simple. So let's go ahead and read the description of what we're looking at now. You are in the lounge, a Dorley's West. You see a, co a china cup. So we're starting off in the lounge of a house. Well, we can get the cup. So let's type in get cup. And now the objects that are or were in the description are no longer mentioned. If we want to drop the cup, no, D-R-O-P, cup. We can drop the cup. The cup will be back in the description. So let's go ahead and get the cup again. And we can go west from here because there's only one place we can go. We can type west, but you can also type the letter W and it will still work. You're in the hall. The front door is to the south. Doors also lead north and east. The stairs lead upwards. So not only are we in a house, but there's two floors of this house. So we're doing pretty all right for ourselves, apparently. Let's go to the front door and see what we can do. So let's press S for south. And you are in the street. The front door of the house lies to the north. Apparently nothing else is around your house. At least nothing that you can get to. You see a pint bottle of milk. Well, let's get the milk. Get milk, okay. And let's go back to the north. We can go back in the house because we can't do anything over here. We're back in the hall. We've already been through the front door. There is a door that leads to the east. The east leads to the lounge, so let's go north. We'll take the stairway upwards. You're in the kitchen. The back door is to the north. Another door leads south. You see an electric kettle full of water and a large jar of instant coffee. Well, let's go ahead and get the coffee. So get coffee. And we still have the electric kettle. We can't actually get the kettle, I think. Oh, you can get the kettle. Drop kettle. And since we're in the kitchen, we could probably boil water here. You know what? I think you're supposed to have the kettle in order to get that, now that I think about that. Now let's go ahead and boil the water. Hmm. Use kettle? I kind of forgot how to do this. I'll figure this out. Oh, let's go ahead and drop the kettle. Can we boil the water now? Hmm, I forgot how to do this and I did no practice runs for this, but let's go ahead and get the kettle anyway. And let's go north. You went in the garden. The back door of the house lies to the south. There is nothing to do in the garden, so let's go back south because we can't go anywhere else. And we go south from the kitchen back into the hall, and we can go upwards. Also, some people are working on the lawn out there. I don't know if you can hear it. Probably not. So we can type upwards or go up or up or just you to go up. And we are now on the second floor landing. You are on the landing. Doors lead north and east. A flight of stairs leads down. Well, if we go north, there's the bedroom. There's nothing to do here because there's no items mentioned. And the door leads south. So we're going to have to go east. So let's go east. You are in the bathroom. The door is to the west. You see a kilo bag of sugar. Why would you keep sugar in the bathroom? It's more likely to get wet that way and go bad. Well, let's get the let's get the, the sugar. Can we look at the sugar? No, we cannot. So we can't look at objects in this game apparently. So let's go ahead and go go west and go down. We're going to be back in the hall, and if we go north, we go back to the kitchen. Let's see what we have. Type in inventory or INV. You'll see what you're carrying. 
And not a lot of items. We have an electric kettle full of water or an electric kettle full of water, a large jar of instant coffee, a china cup, a pint bottle of milk, and a kilo bag of sugar. Press space. So let's drop the kettle. Let's drop the coffee. Drop milk. Drop sugar. And drop cup. Now, do we boil the water? We can't boil water. Cook water. Heat water. Turn on. Ke boil kettle? Ah! Okay, it's boil kettle, not boil water. I know you had to type boil something to get the kettle to boil the water. It can just completely escape me. Congratulations! You can now make yourself a real coffee as a reward. And make me one while you're at it. Try this adventure again? Well, yes. So that way I can talk about more about the game and show off how else to do the ending. Or rather, a kind of alternative-ish way to beat it while I talk about the game. We're back in the lounge. The cup is in the lounge just like last time. And we go to the west to leave the lounge. We can go south to the front door like usual. And just like last time, we got the milk right there. So let's get the milk. The items will be in the same location every single time. Sadly, the game is not coded to place the items randomly. Though there probably is a way to do that with the way that you can code a BBC micro game. I'm pretty sure it's possible. So there's not really much replay value. I would say something about the graphics, but... Well, there isn't really any graphics. You just have text, and that's just quite all right for this. Don't necessarily need this. It would have made this more complex to code anyway. I'm guessing this is somebody's very first shot at programming. In that case, it's, it does its job, and it does its job well. And we can boil the kettle without even having it in the... Inventory. As a matter of fact, we had to drop the kettle the first time. Now you can boil the kettle after you get everything else, but you can also boil it before you get everything else. And we need to go to the south because the north leads to the garden. Let's go ahead and go upstairs and let's go to the east because there's nothing in the bedroom and there's the sugar. Again, the items are not placed randomly. So let's go back to the west. Let's go back down. D or down. You can choose whatever you want to type for that. And we can now go back north. And as soon as we have boiled the kettle and we brought all the other items to the kitchen, we automatically win. So there's two ways you can do it. You can either boil the kettle and come back to the kitchen with everything, or come back to the kitchen with everything but the kettle, or have the kettle. It doesn't really matter if you have the kettle or not. And then boil the kettle after you have all five items. So very simple adventure, very simple attempt at a game. I can't really find anything to complain about it. I mean, it's very short, because again, it's an attempt at coding, I would want to assume, and a good one at that. It's easy to make a map out of. As a matter of fact, I'm looking at a map that I made back in February when I first tried out this game for Try It Out Tuesday, and I got it in my moments on my Twitter account. I'll probably post a link to that moment in the description as well. And that's pretty much all that there is to say about Coffee Adventure. Many thanks to High Retro Game Lord 89 for basically bringing this game to my attention with a long play of their own. Check out their channel for ga ga basic gameplay videos of systems like this, the BBC Micro, but also the TRS Color Computer or the Coco, the VTech Creative Vision, the Apple II, Atari 2600. All sorts of systems. 
you'd be surprised what you could find there and I will post a link to his or their channel in the description as well so how does this game stack up again it's a simple game probably a attempt at making a game on the BBC micro and a very decent one at that very short game don't really have anything to say about the graphics there's no sound there's no music play control is very simple all you do is just type in basic commands and verbs to get to where you want to go easy to make a map for this game there are more complex games out there especially in the text adventure field for the BBC micro than this and I guess you could just play this again if you're bored you could probably play this for about a few minutes but other than that not really much of a reason to play it again except to play it in the two ways that I showed off and that's pretty much it I guess you could find a uh, disc image of this game if you can find it or uh, somehow find the actual program in physical form if you can because hey piracy in the mi in the 1980s for microcomputers it was a thing and that's pretty much all that I have to say about coffee adventure so I will be back with another game maybe it'll be good maybe it'll be bad maybe it'll be somewhere in between who knows Maybe it'll be another text adventure, I don't know. But until then, this is Prince Watercrest. Take care, stay safe, thanks for watching, and see you guys later!